while all that scheming is happening and these spirits are planning from the realm of the spirit all they hear is a sound like thunder Ah, you are there in your room, oh. You are there in your room. Listen. Say, I shall not die. Don't keep quiet, oh. Say, I shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. You come from a family where the devil kills people with all due respect, people died before their time. I like you this night while you are listening to me. Make get, let a holy anger rise in your spirit that it will be from me. This untimely death, this spirit that comes upon people and just waste their life. There are those the moment they are getting to 46, 47, 48, they start becoming afraid, moody and emotional. Because when you cross 50 from those families, that is even a testimony. Hallelujah. He gave them power. Gave them power. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all. They that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 1. Give it to us please. And when he had called unto him the 12 disciples, he gave them power power against are you seeing the pattern now unclean spirits to cast them out then to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases he sent them with a message verse 7 as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand prove the reality of that kingdom verse 8 by healing the sick cleansing the lepers, raising the dead, cast out, um, cast out devils, freely you have received, freely give. When you read from verse 9, the next thing is talking about supplies. It's always been in that order. You deal with spirits, your body, I'm coming to the issue of supplies. But my assignment is to speak to the body of Christ. There is a a need for a heightened awareness of the principles that truly make for health and longevity. May God forbid that you wake up one morning and just find out that somebody you loved has gone. I know that most of us here, we've lost loved ones, no problem. There's nothing we can do. We thank God that they are in Christ. But since you are alive, you have a chance now to define your reality. Do you know there are people right now who based on the satanic programming they are not supposed to see December 31st they are alive oh, they are already working now but they are part of the list from now till December this one let's try accident if it does not work try a satanic migraine headache oh this one is pregnant she's getting to nine months can we use it as an opportunity this had delivery now this can be an opportunity to kill her and the spirit scheme it. And that's why the Bible said, no weapon fashioned. Weapons are fashioned. They are fashioned by studying your life. This man is a man of God. Most likely he will be laying hands on a lot of people. Can we program people with communicable diseases? So that as he's laying hands, something will come upon him and kill him. This man is a businessman. The easiest way to kill him is to make him lose 10 billion naira within one month. What do you think? From there, he will plunge into depression. He may run to a herbalist and on his way, coming back, both him and the goat he carried will die on the way. That's the plan. Are we together? Yeah. <laughs> and while all that scheming is happening and these spirits are planning, from the realm of the spirit, all they hear is a sound like thunder. Ah, 
car. You are there in your room. Oh. You are there in your room. Listen. Jesus was not invited to hell. He entered. Oh, it's in your Bible. Nobody gave him any invitation. The Bible says he showed up. He just said it is finished. And the next thing they see him there, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them in it. Listen, one of these days, you will find yourself in a meeting where you need to settle some things. You will start praying on earth till you find yourself in the realm of the spirit and you will see books with the names of your loved ones and you will tear them into pieces and say this is what has kept this family bound this is what has destroyed this family do you believe what i'm teaching you listen the bible says to deliver those who have been appointed unto death a man of God once shared a testimony and I shared it here. I listened to him. He said somebody was supposed to take a flight. He missed the flight and the person was angry. He now joined a train and the train crashed. The flight too crashed. You see that these kinds of people have been appointed unto death. Whether it's bike, whether whatever the devil. There are people the devil does not want them to backslide. He wants them to die. That even in their backsliding states, they are too useful to God's program. He wants to get them out of the way. Ah, minus you, Koinonia. Yeah. I said minus you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. I've seen the spirit of death. Oh, I'm not just talking stories. The basis of my confidence is not my visions. It's the authority of scripture. But you cannot deny what you see. I think most believers are really, really careless. They just sit down and fold their arms. You are watching the devil destroy people. You are seeing your children become something that is... And you are not fasting yet. You are not praying yet. You are busy trying to make money. And then the devil will use the same children and kill you. No way. Make up your mind that anything under, I'm going to be showing you the weapons to use before we pray. I won't leave you like this in limbo. I'm just showing you that God is mandating the church to rise to a heightened revelation about dominion over unclean spirits. These spirits that stand in the highway, I hope you know that a major part of accidents are caused by spirits. I have prayed for people who were driving. They were not careless. The steering locked. It, they would tell you they were not careless. They were not drunk. They were driving and the next thing, the steering locked. They tried to press the brake. It was not there. You will know that there are spirits. You must die. Hallelujah. With all due respect to medicine, how about doctors that have made costly mistakes on patients' bodies? Some of them were not born again and they were simply medical practitioners, except that when a spirit arrived at theater, he also contributed in the surgery and manipulated their hands. Something that should be a basis for healing now scattered the patient's body. This is why we need people to be born again, regardless what you do. A business can, man can be on fire. It's one thing to know how to buy and sell. It's one thing to put a mall as big as this auditorium. Then one mysterious fire in the name of one wire sparking burns everything. And you, as intelligent as you are, you actually believe that that fire was a product of a spark. It's a joke. God gave us brains and intents that we use them. Spirits are real. Their effect can be felt in the earth realm. Again, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every spirit assigned to your destiny, to your ministry, to your family, to bring shame and reproach in this end time. We raise a standard by the blood. 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 Please sit down. 
Hallelujah. I will only say it because it's something that has been discussed. I've shared it with the workers. When we started meetings here, about a month after then, the officials here were going around this facility and when they went outside, they saw something hanging in a leather and they thought, who is it that just threw this thing there? And the next thing, they picked it up and brought it and it was a charm. Well concocted charm. Only God knows what the charm was supposed to do. Destroy Koinonia, destroy Apostle Joshua Selma. Even a madman does not enter fire by mistake. As, as mad as a man is, if he comes near fire, he has the sanity enough to know that fire destroys. I don't say these kinds of things with any apology. Let me tell you. The individual and the spirit that tries this ministry dies on the spot as a testimony. On the spot. And you believe I'm joking, try it so that your life will be a lesson for others. I didn't say one week later on the spot. Listen, I have seen spirits, I've seen Jesus. Something happens to you. There are things when you have seen. You know how many charms this hand has held? I'm not bragging. I've shared with you my story. People carry charms. Charms that are for families. Charms older than even my parents. And I say, bring it to me. I know what to do. You go, you are free. Just leave me and the devil. Listen, I submit to you, and I'm sorry if I sound proud, but there are, God gave gifts to men. Are we together? No matter how mad, listen, we have, we've been in just where there was crisis, crisis. If his death, I would have died. In Zaria for years, for many of you who know Zaria, there's no kind of crisis that has happened there that we're not there. In a whole, you understand what I'm saying? There is a way God trains you, you do not fear again. Anybody that plants anything around your life, and if I be a man of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, beginning from this night, both them and the charm, the earth will bury them. Be sensitive, oh. Be sensitive about what God is doing. I just sense that God is settling. Tonight is a miracle service. God has just decided that it's a miracle service. For as long, listen, for as long as you pamper the devil and you keep quiet, you will watch him destroy your children, destroy your reputation. Listen, there are people today by God's mandate on their life, they should not be this way. But they kept folding their arms. You know the kind of family you are coming from. It is true that victory has been wrought in Christ. But there is a responsibility component. Don't keep watching the ladies in the family go down. All your siblings have gone down. You are still watching. The gentlemen, they travel abroad and return back. Like failures and losers. Even those who accepted the call to ministry. You look at them and it's as if they are fake. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. I take authority Father. over every influence, Father. every spirit Father. assigned to my life Father. and to my destiny. I stand in the victory of Christ and I establish it in my life. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Establishing victory through understanding, establishing victory by faith, 
establishing victory by spiritual intelligence. Pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Let me give you one more prayer point. Say, Father, every member of my family who is in bondage now, I stand as a priest. I stand as an intercessor. And I declare by the blood of Jesus, they are released. Now, open your mouth and start praying. Every member, pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. Not under your watch. In the name of Jesus. By the blood, release them, release them by the blood in the name of Jesus, release them by the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I give you one more? Before you sit down. Say, Father, I declare that the fullness of my days I will fulfill every assignment of hell to take my life before my time, to take the life of my loved ones before their time is hereby cancelled. Open your mouth and pray. The fullness of our days. The fullness of our days. This is the heritage of the saints in light. Please don't be silent. Decree that he might just be justified. In the air, protected. On land, protected. By sea, protected. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Have you noticed that in recent time over this city, there has been some demonic onslaught of people getting into vehicles? Huh? Have you had someone that it happened to? That someone just, and ah, I'm angry, my spirit. Hear me. I say this as one sent by God. Any kidnapper or any driver, one chance they call it or whatever it's called, in the name of Jesus Christ, that anyone who will pick any son or daughter of Zion, may my God judge them instantly. May my God judge them instantly. May the earth fight them instantly. Listen, listen, this is what happens in a territory when the saints are lazy. You will think that these boys that are picking people and collecting phones and collect, it happens in every society, you see. But have you noticed that there are seasons where it's like a pattern, it's like a satanic grace just comes on people, either stealing, either irresponsibility. The young people are not the ones, it is a spirit taking advantage of their partnership with hell. Many families cannot have peace and all of that because of some kind of satanic thing. Anybody that nears your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying by the power of the Holy Spirit, may my God judge them. And if there is any loved one who has been kidnapped now, wherever they are, we set confusion in the camp of the enemy.
Alléluia. Laissez-le.